was one of those nights where the rain was coming down in buckets, turning the world outside into a blurry mess of shadows and mist. I was just chilling at home, trying to keep myself occupied while the storm raged on outside. As the hours passed, I started to feel this weird sense of unease creeping over me. It was like the storm itself was alive, pulsing with some kind of dark energy that seemed to seep into every corner of my house. I tried to shake it off, to convince myself that it was just my imagination running wild, but deep down I knew something wasn't right. And then, just when I thought things couldn't get any weirder, they did. I started hearing strange noises coming from outside, faint whispers carried on the wind, eerie laughter echoing through the darkness. At first I tried to ignore them, to convince myself that they were just figments of my imagination. But the longer I listened, the more convinced I became that something was seriously wrong. I tried to distract myself, to focus on something, anything, other than the strange noises outside. But no matter what I did, I couldn't shake the feeling that I was being watched, that something sinister was lurking just beyond the rain-soaked windows of my house. And then, just when I thought I couldn't take it anymore, the power went out. I stumbled around in the darkness, my heart pounding in my chest as I tried to find a flashlight or a candle or anything that could help me see. As I fumbled through the darkness, I heard something, a faint tapping sound coming from somewhere outside. I froze, my breath catching in my throat as I strained to listen. It sounded like someone was tapping on the window, trying to get my attention. I approached the window cautiously, my heart racing with fear and anticipation. And when I finally reached it, I saw something that made my blood run cold. There, standing in the rain, was a figure, tall and shadowy, with glowing eyes that seemed to pierce right through me. I stumbled backward, my mind reeling with fear and confusion as I tried to make sense of what I was seeing. But before I could react, the figure vanished into the darkness, leaving me standing there alone in the storm. I tried to tell myself that it was just my imagination playing tricks on me, that there was nothing out there but the rain and the wind. But deep down, I knew better. I spent the rest of the night huddled in my bed, the sound of the storm raging on outside like some kind of twisted lullaby. And as I drifted off to sleep, I couldn't shake the feeling that something was watching me, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. When I woke up the next morning, the storm had passed, leaving behind nothing but a faint drizzle and a lingering sense of dread. I tried to tell myself that it was all just a bad dream, that there was nothing to be afraid of. But deep down, I knew that the horror of that rainy night would stay with me forever. A reminder that some nightmares can only happen when the rain is falling and the world is cloaked in darkness. Alright, let me tell you about the night that still sends shivers down my spine whenever I think about it. It was one of those dark and stormy nights, you know, the kind where the rain is coming down in sheets and the wind is howling like some kind of angry beast. I was just chilling at home, trying to relax after a long day at work, when suddenly out of nowhere my phone rang. I didn't recognize the number, but something about it sent a chill down my spine. I hesitated for a moment, my thumb hovering over the answer button, before finally mustering up the courage to pick up. Hello? I said, my voice trembling with a mixture of fear and curiosity. There was a long pause on the other end of the line, so long that I started to wonder if maybe it was just a wrong number or something. But then, just when I was about to hang up, I heard it, a low, raspy voice whispering my name. I froze, my heart pounding in my chest as the voice spoke again, this time louder and more insistent. I know who you are, it said, sending a shiver down my spine. I know what you've done. I tried to respond, to ask who was calling or what they wanted from me, 
But before I could get a word out, the line went dead. I stared at my phone in disbelief, my mind racing with a million different thoughts and fears. Was it just a prank call? Some kind of sick joke from one of my friends? Or was there something more sinister at play? Something lurking in the shadows, just waiting for the perfect moment to strike. I tried to shake off the feeling of dread that had settled over me like a dark cloud. But no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't shake the feeling that something was seriously wrong. I paced back and forth in my living room, my nerves on edge as I tried to make sense of what had just happened. Was I being watched, followed? Was someone out there, lurking in the darkness, just waiting for the perfect moment to strike? I tried to tell myself that it was just my imagination running wild, that there was nothing to be afraid of. But deep down, I knew that wasn't true. There was something out there, something sinister and malevolent, and it was coming for me. I tried to call the police, to tell them about the strange phone call and the feeling of dread that had settled over me like a dark cloud. But when I picked up the phone, I realized that it was dead completely dead, no dial tone, no nothing. I felt a cold chill run down my spine as I realized what that meant. Whoever had called me, whoever was out there in the darkness, they weren't playing games. They were serious, deadly serious, and they were coming for me. I tried to think of a plan, of something, anything, that could help me escape from whatever nightmare was unfolding around me. But no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't shake the feeling of impending doom that hung over me like a dark cloud. And then, just when I thought things couldn't get any worse, I heard it. A faint scratching sound coming from outside. I froze, my heart pounding in my chest, as the sound grew louder and louder like something trying to claw its way into the house. I stumbled backward my mind racing with fear and confusion as I tried to make sense of what was happening. Was it an animal, a person, or something even more sinister, something that defied explanation? I didn't stick around to find out. With a sense of dread gnawing at my insides, I made a run for it, desperate to escape from whatever horror was lurking in the darkness outside. And as I fled into the night, the rain pounding down around me like a symphony of dread. I couldn't help but wonder, would I ever escape from the nightmare that had suddenly become my reality? Or was I doomed to spend the rest of my days running, always one step behind the darkness that pursued me? If you've enjoyed our spine-tingling tales and crave more, don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the notification bell. Until next time.